Welcome to the uh, libcurl video tutorial global episode. So I'm going to talk about some fundamental things about using libcurl today and uh, that is the global setup or rather global init and global cleanup. And I'm, uh, you can see on the right side here I'm ha I have a text editor and I have my text uh, terminal on the left side. So on the, in the text editor, I'm going to write a very short program just to show you how to set up your libcurl using app from the beginning. So we always include curl slash curl.h. That's the only header file we use from curl and that's the only one we need to remember. I once thought about doing it differently, but nowadays we always just include that header file for anything you do with libcurl. And we s create a uh, very basic little main function here because uh, I'm only going to show you this so this model. So the typical thing you do in curl is that you create a curl handle with this curl type and you do transfers using that. But anyway, before before you do anything in curl, before you use any other function call really th that is curl provided by the curl API, you need to initialize it because of reasons and you do that with global curl global init and typically and you pass an actually you can pass an option to it, a, an argument that says what particular part to initialize or rather to avoid initializing but that's sort of an extra course that we don't need to go into today so we do this we do global init and global init here it actually it is not thread safe so you should make sure to only do this in a single thread and before you do anything else. So pretty much in your, in your startup, you would do this. You do it once, no matter how many threads you're going to use curl in. Um, and this is mostly initializing third party libraries and stuff that themselves are thread unsafe. So this isn't really, this isn't here because we want to, it's here because we need to have it. So after you've done the global init, you can do things like, you know, um, for example, you can create a curl easy init, you create a curl handle to operate on, or in, I can, of course, close that handle again, or clean up as they are called in curl, curl like that. So I create the handle and I close it again and that's perfectly fine and when we're done with our curl operations we do curl global cleanup again and it doesn't have any argument at all and we could do return zero so that we don't get any warning because we have an int function and then if we did this in the same directory as we did the make file created make file in from the setup episode you can just run make here and you get a warning because why because I did a typo. So it's called init, not int. So I'll try it again. M and I did my misspelling, but it's I have an alias for the bad typo because I'm Mr. Typo. So it worked and I can run this app. And as you can see in the source code, it doesn't do anything. It works and it returns zero. So it set up the global init and it does the corresponding cleanup in the end and it operates and works with libcurl in between. So this is um, one of the fundamentals to do when you do with li work with libcurl. If you don't do it, if you would remove the gl global stuff like that, so you don't have any global in it or cleanup, and we can try that, you know, you can do make and, oh, you see, it worked the same way you think, but in this case, libcurl will just figure it out by itself that when you call easy init here it'll detect that you didn't call global init so it'll do it for you which you might be fine with or you might not be but since global init isn't thread safe that is um, a bit of a gamble so that's why i always try to encourage everyone to do the global init explicitly and um, in a known place and with known sort of conditions. So if you have that sorted out, bam, you're ready to do your first actual real libcurl using application. 
So let's jump into that. And um, but um, yeah, that's another episode. See you soon. <laughs>